Okay, so I've had a lot of questions about how to make these word clouds and make them look really cute. Um, have names big, have different colors, that kind of thing. So I thought I'd go ahead and do a um, little video to show you. Um, I've got one of the word clouds that um, I made for my students last year, and so I'm going to just use that since I haven't even gone there with my students this year. Um, so I'm going to use this cloud to show you how that works. Um, after you put all your words into Taggle, which to do that you have to um, manually add um, your tags, and it look, will look a little bit different than what this is right here. Um, this is where my tags are already all in my um, I've entered them all in already, but I'm going to show you now how to now create and make the different sizes. Um, so one thing that I did was I made my the name of the student much bigger. And so what I did is I found find the name of your student in your list of tags, and then you're going to go to this. And I'm not I guess we I'm not sure what that. <laughs> what exactly that stands for. But anyway, this is what's going to take and make that name bigger. Um, so instead of having great in this tag, I'm going to change, and you play with these numbers. I found that using a number four, it made it much bigger. So it's kind of like it's saying four times as big as anything else. Um, and then I also took and I said fourth grade, I made that a two. So it's about as half as big as the name. Okay, and when you get done doing that, it's going to move them up to the very top because that's what you want biggest. And then you say visualize. And you can see here it's loading and it's loading. And there we go. Now I have that name big and it happens to take it right and just put it right in the center when you do that. Now, um, another thing that I did was changing some of the colors and um, how often the different um, words were in there, in there, and I just played around with all of this. Really, you can't hurt it too much. Um, and really, the more you mess with it, then the the different things that happen. Um, and sometimes you'll just stumble upon something that's really cool, and that's what I did, and I had no idea how I did it. Um, so I kind of messed around with some of these tag angles. Um, added some different ones. Um, you can always say rand add a random one in there and then it will change things around. Then you say visualize and then it will change things up and see things went differently again. Um, it made some other words bigger. Um, you can also go in and play with the fonts and choose which fonts you want to use. I kind of thought about the student um, and what their personality is and some things that they would they would appreciate more like I know my boys would love this more kind of little military type of thing better um, I've got some other others that would be like this cuter type of more handwriting font so I just really thought about what they liked and changed that up a little bit then there's another tab there that is colors um, and you can go in and you can say random colors and then it will add in different random colors in there and see how it changes it every time I add one. Um, but I'm going to take some of those out because I really want it like that. Um, actually, it doesn't really matter for this one, but um, that's really how it works. Really, the more you play, the more fun it is um, and the better it looks. So just play, experiment. You can't hurt it. And you know what? the worst thing to happen, you start over again. Um, so I didn't save anything until I was absolutely sure and to save it. And you can also just click visualize and make it change things up. If you don't like the way it is, see, change it up. But I don't like all the yellow that's in there, so I'm going to change it up again. And it's going to look a bit there, and that now it looks a little bit different. My fourth grade isn't as big, so I don't like this one as much. So I'm going to change it up one more time. And that's what's fun about this, that um, you really get to play with however you want to. Play with everything. That's what makes this a lot of fun. I hope this answered some questions for you. Um, and I know it's kind of vague to say, just play. But guess what? It works. And really have fun with it. 
don't take it too seriously. Don't try and make it too perfect because that's not what it's about. That's what the kids love most about it. And they love to just be able to search in there and see um, what different words are in there and all that. Okay, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and save these changes and I'm going to let you go and play an experiment.